Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, as always, my friends. And this is a Lotro Life blog. And today, I have some fun. I have a fun thing to encourage you guys because you've encouraged me. So this is a back at you from you guys and your great comments, okay? Lately, I had a thought the other day and you guys are always like, you know what, Zolan? You're always so enthusiastic. You're always so fun. And like, you really, you make my day better. And I, you know what? That means a really big, really, that means a lot to me, guys. It just warms my heart. I don't know how else to put it, but just say thank you. Cause that's, it really means a lot when people are saying that to you that you've never met before who just learned about your channel. And they're like, we love how awesome your channel is. We love how fun you are. And you know what? It really just, it makes me just so happy. And like, yeah, it just really means a lot again. And it's not, not for blowing up my ego. That's not what I'm trying to say. It just makes my heart happy that I'm giving out happiness to other people does that make sense that's that's like what just makes me very happy in that way so since you guys are so kind and to premise that the premise the starting of this little blog video is i would like to give you a couple reasons a couple things to focus on in your lives that things are i think are good things to focus on to help you be happy in your everyday lives now i could joke and be like all right my channel makes you happy well that's great i know that you already said that to me that's the point but what are some other fun things that we can focus on in life okay so i think these are really good things uh that i've made a little list that i thought about and i think these are really good things so for being happy right and being fulfilled and being like your daily lives because a lot of times we can really get ourselves down we can really get ourselves in a box right and i'm this is totally be uplifting we can get ourselves in a box no matter what our background is what we believe what our religion is or anything we kind of get ourselves in a box every day we're working and we're working and we're working or something's really upsetting us and something's just lingering in the back of our mind and just making us frustrated why one of the reasons why we reach out we try to find a fun thing to watch or a game to play or, or things to do right and those are good things to do but what are some real wholesome things we can do right to make it like really like get through again i'm not an expert on this i'm not trying to like lecture you guys this is just my thoughts to you guys and you could take it with a grain of salt and whatever you know what i mean what if you like it or take it or leave it it's up to you right this is just to encourage you guys so being happy for one thing is having some friends all right again and this could be friends online of course but if you could find some friends too in your life that live next to you. In-person things are always good too. There's something about in-person that really helps and our technology is getting so much better that like, for example, you guys watching me right now, this is practically in-person except, you know, I'm recording it for you, right? But like when I'm doing live streams and you guys are watching me, it's practically in-person. But still, find some friends, find some people that are like, that. this could be lots of different people too. It doesn't have to be the generic, it's a friend, you know, like someone else, just someone else. It could be your family member. It could be a brother. It could be a sister. It could be your spouse. It could be just have someone, you know, if you can. And again, this isn't to, if you're someone who's kind of a loner, you know what else you know, I understand that I have lots of friends that I've met like that. And now they're my friends, you know what I mean? And it's fun to have friends like that. But even it could be your cousin. It could be someone from your work even. Again, I think it's great to have friends that you make at work. But also I think it's good to have friends that are like, have the same hobby as you. You know what I mean? That's kind of fun too. You could find someone to do a sport with, or, you know, they like to talk about a certain thing. Or maybe if you're someone who really likes the more or card games or or D, &D or a video game or um you know they like to go you know surfing or this or that or you like to do that as well you know find people in a community thing too that's always really helpful find people around you it could even be a neighbor you know you like you both like to garden so you start a garden together right that kind of thing so now let's go on another thing what if uh again you could have friends at work but another good one pets if you can find a pet you're not allergic to, again, pets are a lot of work. They are a lot of commitment. Having a friend where you can just meet them for lunch and they just come on their own and, you know, we have fun, have a lunch, talk about something you'd like, meet them up, and then split ways, you know, and you're both taking it yourself. Pets are a little harder because it's a lot of commitment. But if you, if you need a pet, that's a really good thing to have. I have loved my pets over the years. I have had all sorts of pets, right? I've had, you know, bunny, fish. Again, they're not quite as close to you as a cat or a dog would be i can't really have cats even though i have uh because i get allergic but um you know make sure you think about that if you're allergic find a dog that's not allergenic there are several breeds that are non-allergenic and that's great right like our we've had a maltese in the past and now we have a big english sheep dog mixed with a poodle standard poodle brody as you've all seen um so it's really good pets are a great one that's another good one um 
then then of course work with people your professions um it's always good to focus on you know if something makes you happy with your work whatever you're doing focus on that you know what i'm saying too as well now that you've thought about having friends focus on your profession you know what i'm saying if it's something that makes you fun again i really do recommend you want to be a good faithful worker and you want to provide if you do have a family right and you just have a job and that's the job you have and you can't really switch right but if you're someone think about what do you really want to do with your life and stuff and you could do this at any age right now i know granted some people are gonna be like oh well i'm kind of stuck in my nine to five job that i've been doing for 20 years you know what i mean if you're a lot older than me it's like but still if you can find something you like about it try to always focus on the positives too right if you can find a job you really like doing like i'm thoroughly enjoying doing my channel with you guys for you guys so um and just the community we're building here on the channel so hopefully this can become my, one of my part-time jobs at least so that's what i'm hoping for and i really appreciate my patreons for that so um but so that's a good one so definitely think about that and now for another one community things events groups it's never too late to join a community thing do you like do you want to join a community orchestra or a community choir that's just for any level they'll just accept anyone and teach you on the go right i've been in a community group a community orchestra now for uh, a long time a long time 13 years so i i started when i was like 12 years old so um maybe longer than that I don't know. I'm not gonna do the math right now because that'll get boring. <laughs> but um, you know, choirs um, at my university uh, and colleges, I joined different choirs and symphonies. Again, I really love music, but that might not be your thing. Maybe you like sports. Maybe you go fi find a sports team. Maybe you like a chess tournament. Maybe you're a chess kind of person. Go find that. Maybe you like to play cards or D and D and all these things. There's different places. I have a place right here in my downtown that really likes to do different card things and they sell stuff and and it just they have a lot of fun doing different events. So so there's all sorts of good things you could do. And again, I could make a list go on and on and on, but I think you get my gist, right? Find the thing you really like, find a community thing, maybe a swimming club, maybe, uh, you know, a group of people that like play golf. If you like to play golf, like, or football or baseball, or, you know, over here in Europe, it's a different kind of football, right? Like soccer, <laughs> soccer in US, right? Um, there's all sorts of things you could do, right? And again, if you're someone who can't do a lot of athletic things, there's so many other things you could do. The gaming community is, one really good area right or youtube or maybe you maybe you want to start something right maybe you're like really good at cooking so you start a cooking cha channel you know there's all sorts of fun things you could do so that's a huge one that's another really good one so community groups big one think about that so having personal friends whether they be someone you meet and make a friend, whether it be your, again, your cousin, your your sibling. I'm really good friends with my sister. We get along really well. Um, it was kind of fun because she married one of my good friends. So not only do I get along with her husband, my brother-in-law really well, I get along with my sister really well. So we end up just having a lot of fun together. So that's just awesome. I'm also really good friends with my mom. She's a wonderful mom. I respect her highly. And, uh, and again, she's my mom, so I always have that respect but now that i'm an adult right like as we all are once we're in our 20s um <laughs> i always joke because i think tolkien's version of adults being like hobbits being like what is it 30 something and dwarves being 50 that makes more sense <laughs> i just joke about that but um but yeah i great great relationships with them but yet i have a lot of friends from my youth groups from church i have a lot of friends through my uh, orchestra and my choir of all ages. I mean, I have friends that are a lot younger than me because I, I teach little uh, younger kids, but then uh, there's people I from my orchestra that are just in high school. Now I'm in, I'm in college age, right? I'm in my mid twenties, but um, so I have friends that are uh, you know, 10 years younger than me. I have friends that are 70 years older than me. I mean, I have some friends in my orchestra who are in their you know, 90s. Our piano player who I love talking with and she's one of my friends, she's 93. And like, I, I completely and utterly enjoy talking with her because we love the same things. Yeah, we're, you know, many, many years apart. But think about it from Tolkien's perspective, right? What Tolkien writes, the elves, some of them are really good friends and they're thousands of years apart. They, and of course they don't age as much. So once one grows up, now they're both about the same age, which would be very, very cool. Now on another note, and again, you can take this with a grain of salt. I know I always tell you guys, one one of the reasons I'm really happy usually is that I always, I, 
believe wholeheartedly in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And again, for this channel is for everyone, no matter what your belief is and what your background is. But again, I'm never gonna hide that. So I have similar views to Tolkien, what he believed, but he was a Roman Catholic. But um, I'm a little bit more Protestant in my beliefs, but yet there's a lot of similarities me and Tolkien have with what we believe in our religion towards God. Um, but, you know, church, that's another community group, right? Churches are really good. And sometimes they have other community things in the churches that you can go to as well. Again, our orchestra used to perform. We used to stay at a church all the time. Now, because a lot of the stuff going on, we're, we're in a garage right now. But uh, <laughs> our leader has a really nice big garage, thank goodness. So we're able to perform practice in there. But um, yeah, so that's another good one is church. I've always had, I, I have to mention my pastor's mom, I call her Grandma Jenny, because she's just wonderful. And she calls, she says, she's supposed to call me Grandma. You know, she's so sweet. And she always goes, you're always so smiley. You're always so happy, which is something I linked with you guys, because a lot of you guys always say, you're always smiling, you're always happy. And, you know, and then she used to tell me, she goes, the reason we're happy is because we have Jesus. And I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? But there's lots of reasons we can be happy. But that's one of my big reasons, right? So I have I have really good friends. I have wonderful viewers, you guys. I have my Lord and Savior Jesus, and I have a great community in my church, my orchestra, my choir. You know, there's a lot of things to be happy for. And now, without damp putting a damper on everything, I've gone through some really hard stuff in my life. My father was a really bad alcoholic, and... Um, I don't want to put a damper on this because I want to keep this an uplifting video for you guys. But just so you know, I don't have it perfect. I'm blessed. Look at all these cool things I have. But things aren't everything, right? Collections could be another hobby you have. But don't get obsessed over things, okay? Again, I'm blessed. I have all these books behind me and replica weapons and stuff. But remember what really matters. What matters is your heart, your soul, what you believe in, your friends. Those are the things that really hold true. So relationships are really important to us in this life, right? So just... That was the encouragement there. So there's also, you can go to church and stuff, but I just thought it was funny how a lot of my friends from my church and stuff, one of my friends from, just from a side note, would always saying like, oh, you know what, you're always, and you guys know my, I, my also name is Garrett, right? Garrett is all interchangeable. My mom interchanges with him. <laughs> but um, he always like, you were always so smiling. You always say hi to me and I appreciate that. And I do, I try to go out of my way to say hi to people in person, say hi to, th to you guys when I'm doing stuff and do comments. And that's one thing, if you think about others, a lot of the times, those people will also think about you and send stuff back. So if you reach out to someone, you're not always gonna get this to happen. Sometimes you get someone who maybe just isn't quite that kind of personality, then look for someone else to be a friend. But if you reach out to someone, a coworker, or someone you know as a friend, and do something for them and say, hey, you wanna go to lunch? Usually they're gonna reach back out and help to you. And some people aren't very good at planning things, but set aside the time to do stuff with friends, you guys. So anyway, I hope this was encouraging and fun for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit of my heart poured out there, Lotra, uh, Lotra Life. But I thought it was really cool because I wanted to give back to you guys. So some thoughts of Zolan Iron Shield of how to be happy. Make friends, pets, community, put, put yourself out there a little bit, find a community group, maybe find a church you like, you know, there's all sorts of things you could do to do stuff. So don't let yourself be sad. And then of course, you have my channel. So if my channel makes you happy, that is great. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. And I plan to do this channel for many years to come. So I will be here, Zul and I and she will be here. And you're always welcome to ask me questions. I also have a Twitter too. If you have any questions on all these things, I would be happy to have a personal conversation with you guys too, about anything. Even if it's my religion, what I believe in Jesus Christ, right? So I would even talk about that with you guys. I'm not shy in my views. I just am very careful, so you guys know. I'm very, very careful with not bringing in negativity to my channel for you guys, um, even though I am genuinely happy doing these videos i thoroughly enjoy it but i'm very careful to bring negativity in to not bring politics into my channels even though i i'm very well versed in what i know with the world and what i believe but i don't bring that in and i also don't push my religion on people and what i you know i only reason i tell you guys about things with my religion is because i love you and that's my view and love you as like a brother right or a sister or you know what i mean like i care about you guys so i just want to tell you what i believe because that's how i believe the things are. I'm not trying to push it on you. If that's something that makes you uncomfortable, 
don't worry, take it with a grain of salt. Don't even worry about it. Just enjoy the Lord of the Rings content. The whole point of this channel is Lord of the Rings and a fun community. That's my goal, right? So again, I don't bring that in all the time either. It will come out because that's what I believe, but I'm not going to push it on you and advertise it to you because really that's not what as my belief as a Christian, that's not really what Christians are supposed to do. We're supposed to tell other people about what we believe, but we're not supposed to, oh, told people, check it off the list. You know, rah, 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 preach, preach, preach. It, 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 we're not supposed to do that. That's not what Jesus said of the Bible. We're supposed to let other people know, and it's a free choice and a free gift from God to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you know, confess your sins and you're saved. That's it. There's nothing else you have to do. There's not all this extra stuff. Now, some people believe there is extra stuff in other religions. That's that's fine. But that's my belief, right? As a more Protestant view and towards Jesus Christ in the Bible, what it says. But anyway, that's my view on that. But again, I don't push that on anyone. So just letting you guys know, and everybody's welcome on this channel. I don't care if you're atheist, if you're, you know, Buddhist, Muslim, <laughs> you know, what, um, I, I can go through all of them, right? Mormon, Catholic, evangelical, like any of, any of the views, there's so many, right? You're all welcome. Every, what ties us together is Lord of the Rings on this channel. And I will always keep that to hold. But again, that's my point and my goals. Never to be bring negativity into my channel and stuff. So again, to end up and sum the video in a happy way is I've also had hard stuff in my life. I completely understand. I really do, as someone, I struggle with a lot of lung problems. I don't know why. I'm getting better. Uh, I've always had problems ever since I lived in another place, not here in California, but I lived in another state and there's a lot of allergens and I got asthma and all this stuff. But you know what? I'm happy, I feel blessed, with a great channel, with a great community with you guys, and I hope that encourages you. So some points from Zolan, again, you can take everything with a grain of salt, but you know, find some friends, there's lots of other points too, but having friends on even online or in person or community groups or having a pet or all these things and just try to change your mindset, right? If you're having troubles with being depressed or upset, which I completely understand, you would never guess this out of Zolan, but I have had times in my life where I've had so much trouble that I've almost had shell shock over things, right? So just remember, it's mindset too. It's really mindset. And there's some great people out there too. You know, I will recommend too, someone who isn't, he doesn't consider himself Christian, but he's a really great, I don't know if you know who Jordan Peterson is. He's a really great person to help you focus on building things. And I don't always agree with everything he says, but like 95% I do because he's really uh, like, I don't always agree exactly what he says with Bible points because of my views with that and what I've studied, but he's really good with like breaking stuff down and helping you to focus and aim on positive, like thinking in the right way. Anyway, that's a fun little side note. But again, I'm not gonna, you know, thumbs up anyone or thumbs down anyone on my channel because again i don't want to bring in politics of any people's views or stuff right but again he doesn't always go political but unfortunately you have to go into it sometimes in this world i that's one of the things that bothers me too is that how everyday things that we do a lot of stuff has been politics have been pulled into it used to be like when i was little and when my parents were in their middle you know you know younger when i wasn't born yet it seemed like politics weren't quite as they were like kept separate more but now I feel like today, like politics are brought into everything. And it's like, I get tired of that. So my goal is to always keep it to, you know, politics stay in their own area. You know, what I believe is religion. I will come out sometimes because it's it's what I believe in my heart, but I'm not gonna push it on you guys so it stays in its own area. When my channel, you'll just get Zolin on the channel, right? And what I believe in that thing positivity and positivity. That's always what I want for, me, for you guys, positivity. So anyway, again, be happy. No worries. Do, 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 do. Anyway, that old song. But um, so I think those are some good points to focus on, though, guys, for mindset's a big one. But again, there are real things. I, I got to point out, if you're having troubles with things, there are chemical things that happen in our brain, too, sometimes that makes us hard to not be happy or to focus. So at that point, I mean, I would recommend talking to your doctor about it. Again, I don't really recommend just, you know, the terminology of medicines that will just change your mindset because that's not a good thing and but you want to stay away from those things you want to have your own mindset focused right and your own thing but you might need some balancing things because maybe you have something that's a chemical imbalance right that can be a real thing now i've never i've never suffered that but that is a real thing so i don't want to everyone's going to have their own challenges in life so i don't want to 
put anybody down or make anyone feel like, oh, you know, don't feel like that. They, everyone, this is gonna folk, every, this little talk I just did on this is not going to help every single person, right? It's not gonna help every single person's situation. Every situation is different. Every human being is different. Just like snowflakes, just like fingerprints. Every single one is going to be slightly different. So just remember, be happy. I will always be here on my channel. Hopefully these tips of finding some friends or community groups or, you know, maybe getting a pet if you want to do that commitment of having a pet, um, you know, if you can, all those kind of things. Focus on some hobby you like and love. If you can't focus on a job, maybe your job isn't quite what you wanted in your life. Focus on a hobby. Find something fun that you like to do. There's so many great hobbies, right? There's really so many things. We're blessed in this day and age how many things we have. Maybe you can find some old medieval hobby. Do archery. We're gonna have some archery on the channel soon, on this, on this playlist. So you guys, have a great day. I wanted to shout out and thank my Patreons too right here. You guys are the best. I really couldn't be doing this channel without my Patreon supports. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, uh, again, it links are down there. I have a whole little description. Any of the levels will give you Discord of the Patreon, even the lowest level. And um, that is totally up to you. No guilt trips on that. I, I want everyone, anyone to support me, they only just want to because they feel like they'd like to, not because they feel guilt tripped into it. Never want that on my channel. My channel is so I'm having fun and you're having fun, right? That is the goal of my channel. It always will be. Again, thank you to my patrons. So again, I'm having fun, you're having fun. That's the goal of the channel. Lord of the Rings, Tolkien. He really, br Tolkien's really brought the world together. Ha have, has he not? So again, my friends, please leave comments, of course. Again, take everything I said with a grain of salt. Please don't be frustrated if something you disagree with. I totally understand if you disagree with something. That is totally fine. I am totally fine with that. Just be kind in the comments, of course. Um, and again, if you want to talk to me privately for f about any of these things, or just you just want to talk, I would love to help. You know, whoever. You know, if you guys want to talk on Twitter, you can send me a message on there. <laughs> I love I love to talk with people. Again, the hardest thing for my channel is I, now that we're getting bigger is that I want to help like and talk to every single person because you guys take the time to comment. So I've been answering every comment, and I'm hoping I could do that for a many long long much longer time but at a certain point it's gonna get or there's too many comments it's like you know be sitting there for five hours doing just comments <laughs> so anyway you guys are the best thanks so much have a great day middle earth subscribe button's gonna be right here if i earned it and this helped you out if you want to see my actual content if you're someone new who just happened on this video for some weird reason like got viral or something who knows uh main comp check these playlists this is my next episode for Will be for Lotro Life, and right here will be some of my main content for like Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online, where I do voiceovers and stuff. But again, we focus on Lord of the Rings, and we'll be covering lots of Lord of the Rings stuff. So, you guys have a great day, Middle Earth, and I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Baruch Kazan, Kuzan, I met you. Oh, we're also going to cover the lore of Zalin soon. <laughs>